In 2021, I had just started learning music production and once I fell in love with it, I quickly had a new goal to quit my 9 to 5 job and become a full-time music producer. While working as a visual effects artist, I spent every single minute of my free time learning about music production, making songs, starting my YouTube channel and Instagram page. I was hoping that with time, hard work and dedication, things would just come into place on their own and that I would start making money, but I found myself with a problem. It didn't and it wasn't that easy. I actually had no idea where to start, what to do, or how to go about creating my own music business. So I got to thinking, how could I possibly make this work? For everything you do in life, if you don't have a plan, well, it's not gonna work. This is where I took some time to reflect, brainstorm, and come up with an actual plan step by step. There are many different routes that you can take in the music industry, and these days, you don't have to be super famous and filling out stadiums to make a living from your music. I know some people who make all the money they need through music royalties or offering big coaching programs or living through social media content. Knowing your end goal will allow you to make a plan that works for you and only you. In my case, I knew from the beginning that I didn't want to fill at stadiums. I wanted to be my own boss, being a music creator, inspiring others through my own journey in the music industry. I am genuinely happier when I receive those kind of messages letting me know that I'm making a positive impact in someone else's life rather than seeing 10,000 streams on my Spotify. So make sure that you have a clear end goal in your mind that brings you a real sense of purpose and fulfillment because that's what will make you not give up. But stick with me here, I'll make it easier for you and we'll get there together. Now this step is where most people get stuck. I bet that you have a lot of ideas and dreams in your head, but yet you still find a million excuses to yourself as to why you can't start just yet. I spent a good four months thinking about starting my YouTube channel and another 10 years before that, just dreaming about it. Now to get over these excuses, I did two things. I was very well aware that this was just a mindset issue, that all my fears were just in my mind and completely irrational. This is where I started to read self-development books so that I could grow a iron solid mindset and stop finding excuses for myself. The one that had the most impact on me was The Compound Effect by Darren Hardy. It made me understand that just working towards my goal by 1% every day, even if it was just 5 minutes, over time would compound and eventually get me there. Which is the second thing I did. To do just one simple, not scary thing per day. I started by writing down some video ideas and created my YouTube and Instagram without saying anything to my friends and family. It was just little steps that eventually got me started without me knowing it. The only mistake that I did here was to not start earlier, so please don't do the same mistake as I did. I want you to write down a simple, easy step that you can take today that will take you towards your goal and just do it. Once I finally got over my fears and got started, I literally had to learn everything about everything. I knew it was going to take time and I was ready for it. This step is the most time consuming one, but the most important. And you don't have to be good at it straight from the beginning. I wasn't. Look at my first YouTube video. Yeesh. But the more you make music, the more you make content to promote your songs or beats, the better you get at it. So spend every single free time that you have to learn and improve about all the aspects that you need to reach your goals. For me, I had to learn everything about social media, algorithm, thumbnails, graphic design, SEO, titles, copywriting, storytelling, and another billion things. If you want it to be your job, you need to be great at it. It took me a good one year and a half before I could see actual real traction on what I was doing so it is going to be the most challenging part of your plan. By the way, if posting on YouTube and social media is part of your plan, you might find my Notion templates and ebook masterclass very useful to you. There will be a link in the description if you want to check them out. Now let's get into the juicy part. After posting on social media and releasing music for over a year, I was seeing a lot of signals that were telling me that I might have something different and special 
that I could potentially make a living from. I had a lot of engagement around what I do and people were asking for more. But I felt a bit lost because I didn't really know how I could make money on my own. This is where I came up with an actual plan broken down into all the different income sources to cover all my basics expenses. From there, I worked on it backwards. I started to calculate how much I needed, which income sources were interesting me, and divided everything in attainable goals. Let's take an example. If you need $2,000 to live and you love mixing mastering, making beats and sample packs, then maybe your plan could look something like that. $1,000 from mixing and mastering services on platforms like Fiverr and Upwork, $500 from selling beats and another $500 from selling sample packs. If we take a look at what my actual plan looked like, you can see that I decided to go for six different income sources with two additional potential ones in the future. And no, I won't reveal them for now. I'm also keeping the exact numbers private for now as I might make an actual other video about that subject, but let me know in the comments if that would interest you. Once I had a clear plan, the key was to use the staircase strategy, which is to set each of your income sources one by one. If you try to set them up all at once, it will be too much work. You will feel overwhelmed and you won't get anywhere, believe me. Just focus on one, set it up until you reach your money goal and then move on to the next one. My first income sources were affiliation, one-one coaching and digital products, which I focused on back in 2022. Once those were put in place, I focused on reaching monetization on YouTube by the end of 2020 and after that, I added some vocal services and Patreon in early 2023. As you can see, the process can take over months and years, but that's the point. Since then, sponsorships automatically started to arrive and this is where I started to reach 50 to 75% of my income goals consistently. Considering I was seriously going to burn out working a full-time job at the same time and seeing all those green signals, this is where I decided to quit my job and go full-time with the music production and being a content creator. I would definitely not quit if you are not making any money yet or don't have any savings. Don't take any risk, just set all these up while you're still at school or with a full-time job. And only when you see that you are consistently making some good amount of money, then you can consider quitting your job or school. It obviously depends on each person's risk tolerance, but please don't take any risk. This is just my personal experience and what I did. If YouTube is part of a game plan, then you can watch this video next to get a full masterclass on literally everything I know about YouTube. If you made it to this point, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you now feel more confident and will start working on your plan to go full-time. But in the meantime, keep learning and I'll see you in the next one.